I wanted to wear something with an American flag on it for this video, but then I realized I don't own anything with an American flag. Am I the worst American ever, or what? Hey guys, what's going on? So recently I have been obsessed with different cultures and studying about different countries. And in my studies, I've realized that a lot of other countries do stuff really different than the United States. Y'all probably think we're really weird here because we do a lot of weird things. And I personally don't realize it until someone from a different country says, yeah, that thing you do, that's pretty weird. So I asked y'all over on Twitter to tell me some things that you think are weird about America if you aren't from here. And you probably think we're really weird. So let's find out. Peyton from Canada thinks it's weird that we have $1 bills instead of using coins. And then another person commented, okay, coming from a UK person, what the profane word? Is this $1 profane word? I'm so confused. Why not like one pound? Well, one coin. Ah, DK. It's just our currency and the way that we do things here. Maybe George Washington just wanted his face on paper instead of metal. Don't judge Mr. Washington. Lisa from Germany says, I find it strange that you are forced to tip, like you need to tip 20% or something. In Germany, it's polite to tip and everybody does it, but it's not on the bill and you decide how much. This is something that I've heard from a lot of people that's really strange, is that in America, you feel like you have to tip. It is expected of you that if you go to a nice sit-down restaurant, you need to tip your waiter because they make $2 an hour and they live off of tips. And if you don't tip in America, you're basically the biggest jerk ever. I guess in other countries that's not normal and I found that really interesting. Joelle from Switzerland says, Everything is super large. Like in the supermarkets, the juice bottles are half the size of my body. Oh, and everyone is really nice and always ready to help. Well, maybe that's why we're always really nice and ready to help because everything is super sized here and we get larger portions. Hannah from England said in all caps, you have dollars and we have pounds and it gets so confusing. Plus you have Walmart and Target. Yes, we do have Walmart and Target and it is wonderful. The dollar and pounds thing is just something that's different about every country. Every country has their currency and it is annoying to convert, but it's just the way life is. Leah from Canada says, probably the weirdest thing about the US is that you guys insist on using the imperial system, even though it's kind of impractical. Fahrenheit, why? And almost the entire rest of the world uses metric. Not trying to be offensive or hurt any American feelings, but no, Leah, you are right. This is something that makes me legitimately mad. In school, they taught us how to use the imperial system and the metric system because we had to convert the imperial system to the metric system. We had to know how to use both. But guess what? When you get older in America, you only end up using the imperial system for everything, like calculating inches, feet, and everything else, miles, and you completely forget the metric system. The rest of the world uses metric. Why don't we use metric? I don't know who makes the rules, but whoever makes the rules, maybe you should change them. I don't get it. Maybe America just wants to be different. Aaron from the British Isle says, why do Americans not just add tax on the label of things? You end up thinking that, for example, if iced tea is $1 and getting charged one fifteen when tax is added. Yes, we do have to calculate tax ourselves, but I think I know the reason for this. Every state in America has different sales tax. So, for example, JCPenney, they have stores all over America. And if they have a shirt from their brand Stylus that is $14.99, they would have to print different price tags for each state if they included tax in the price tag. In Oklahoma, I think the sales tax is 8.5% or something. They would have to print a tag for that. And then in Arkansas, the sales tax is 9%. So they'd have to print one for that. And it would just get really confusing. And it's just easier if they can print one tag, I guess. Mary from the Philippines says, Why after every class do you guys go to another classroom rather than staying in the classroom and let the teacher come to you? What? That's a thing? The teacher comes to you? Are you serious, Mary? In high school, whenever the bell rang, I had to get going to get to my next class so I wouldn't be late. Is it just because American teachers are lazy? Or is this like a legitimate thing? Are you trying to pull one over on me? I'm so confused. I didn't know the teachers came to you. Louise from England says, 
people always seem so cheerful and patriotic. It's not a bad thing, it's just a little weird sometimes. Probably because we have more food. We love America. Freedom. Teague from Wells says, I've noticed you say right now, after a lot of sentences, like, I'm so cold right now. I just now became aware of that and I'm gonna be really insecure of any time I say right now. I can't even handle this right now. Chandler from South Africa says, they have too many Starbucks. Well, Chandler, I'm not even mad about it. I am more than happy if we have Starbucks on every corner so I can get my white mocha frappuccino like the white girl that I am. Hannah from Sweden says, your pancakes are so thick, like WTF. What do your pancakes look like? Ellie from England has a bunch of good ones here. She said, you spell color like color. You pronounce the letter Z as Z, not Zid. Zid? I didn't know that was a thing. And you call toilets restrooms. Why? And then Ellie also says, I love your accents though, and I'm jealous of your sweets and cereal choices. Yes, we do have a lot of sugar in America, a lot of choices, a lot of cereal. I don't understand the accent thing though, because my accent is pretty ugly. So, I think we have established that America is really weird. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to me if you want to be notified whenever I upload in the future. You can follow me on Twitter. I don't have a good reason for you to follow me on Twitter, but I'll link it in the description anyways. Merka. Thanks guys for watching this video. Bye!